fascinating and I am hoping that my build will be successful and at the same time I'm going to go ahead and document it so that way if you guys decide you want to try it you can just copy what I did. Alright for the, my main reactor I just went up to the scrap yard up the street. Um, it's actually kind of, kind of handy to have one like two blocks away but I basically just bought a few of these uh, barrels from from him for like, I don't know, 22 cents a pound. It came out real cheap. Um, this is going to be what I'm going to use for my main reactor. This is going to be for my cyclone filter. And I was thinking about using that one for my my uh, filtering section, but I am deciding against that. I'm going to use a... Uh, um, we have something similar to that at, the, at my work. and uh, But it has a snap-on lid. I'd like to to use that because it'll be easier to, to remove, change my filtering uh, media, and I can just snap it back in place and I don't have to mess with it. I got this from work also. Um, boss sold it to me pretty cheap. But uh, this is a 6x6 six six square tubing. As I understand it from the other videos and the, the brief read I've done on the, uh, the FEMA um, document, uh, the more width you have on your burn tube, the more gas it can produce at any given time. I was told that the space around the burn tube is not as important, so I got this 33-gallon uh, barrel just to minimize, you know, space consumption. Um, but this is going to be what I use for my burn tube. Um, basically, I'll just go ahead and start cutting it into this. And um, what I'm going to do, I've seen others have problems with doors. Um, I still want a large door. I don't want to use a small pipe like I've seen on a, some of the other videos. I want something easy access. So what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to use some angle iron and I'm going to make a square uh, door basically and I'll, I'll weld that all on there. That way I could just use a flat plate and that should be a lot easier to seal than trying to seal around this round surface. We'll see how that works. If it doesn't work, I'll just seal it up, you know, with a weld and, and go ahead and put the pipe uh, and uh, admit defeat. That's it for now. I'm going to upload this. This will be, I guess, my video one for my gasifier build. This is MJ with Off Grid Online. Thank you and have a great day.